Hello and welcome to our GCP Mindset channel. Today we're talking about the FDA, the United States Food and Drug Administration. More after the intro. Last time we talked about the, the European Medicines Agency, but it has a pedant in the United States, the FDA. The Food and Drug Administration is a federal agency of the Department of Health and Human Services. The FDA is responsible for protecting and promoting public health through the control and supervision of food safety, tobacco products, dietary supplements, prescription and over-the-counter pharmaceutical drugs, medications, vaccines, biopharmaceuticals, blood transfusions, medical devices, electromagnetic radiation emitting devices cosmetics, animal foods and feed, and veterinary products. The FDA primary focus is enforcement of the Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act, but the agency also enforces other laws, notably the Public Health Service Act, as well as associated regulations. Much of this regulatory enforcement work is not directly related to food or drugs, but involves such things as regulating lasers, cellular phones, and condoms, as well as control of disease in contexts varying from household pets to human sperm donated for use in assisted reproduction. Compared to the EMA, the FDA has far more responsibilities. But as the EMA, it is responsible for pharmaceuticals and medical devices. So, let's put our focus on that. The FDA has its headquarters in unincorporated White Oak, Maryland. The agency also has 223 field offices and 13 laboratories located throughout the 50 states, the United States Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico. The FDA was often in the media in the last 1.5 years because of the emergency use authorization. It is a mechanism that was created to facilitate the availability and use of medical countermeasures, including vaccines, during public health emergencies such as the current COVID-19 pandemic. The FDA regulates almost every facet of prescription drugs, including testing, manufacturing, labeling, advertising, marketing, efficacy, and safety. The FDA regulates most products with a set of published standards enforced by a modest number of facility inspections. The FDA also uses tactics of regulatory shaming, mainly through online publication of non-compliance, warning letters, and shaming lists. Regulation by shaming harnesses firms sensitivity to reputational damage. For example, in 2018, the agency published an online blacklist in which it named dozens of branded drug companies that are supposedly using unlawful or unethical means to attempt to impede competition from generic drug companies, something you would not find in the European Union. The Center for Drug Evaluation and Research uses different requirements for the three main drug product types, new drugs, generic drugs, and over-the-counter drugs. A drug is considered new if it is made by a different manufacturer, uses different excipients or inactive ingredients, is used for a different purpose, or undergoes any substantial change. The most rigorous requirements apply to new molecular entities, drugs that are not based on existing medications. The FDA Office of Prescription Drug Promotion reviews and regulates prescription drug advertising and promotion through surveillance activities and issuance of enforcement letters to pharmaceutical manufacturers. The FDA has even a science and research programs. With this, the FDA carries out research and development activities to develop technology and standards that support its regulatory role with the objective of resolving scientific and technical challenges before they become impediments. The FDA research efforts include the areas of biologics, medical devices, drugs, women's health, toxicology, food safety and applied nutrition, and veterinary medicine. We hope you liked our video and learned something new and interesting. If you have any questions or remarks, put them in the comments below. We hope to see you next time, and don't forget to subscribe. Hey there, don't forget, like and subscribe, but most importantly, click that bell so you never miss another video.